Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a little yellow minion. Um, I'm going to make it out of flour and modelling paste so it sets nice and hard. Now, to save me a bit of time, I've got some yellow ready dyed Renshaws and then I've got some white as well which I'll dye up for the different colours. Um, I do actually have some black somewhere as well that we're going to use for the little black parts rather than dyeing it ourselves. Okay, so we'll start by kneading some yellow. So I'm just going to roll my yellow into a bit of a sausage shape. Now it's full of cracks at the moment, it's just so I know roughly the size. I want it to be about this tall, so what I'm going to do is just cut the extra off the bottom and then I'll re it and reshape him. You do need some leftover for the arms, so I'm going to start by rolling it into a ball so that I can get out all the creases and cracks. And then we're going to roll back into that basic sausage shape that we had. Keeping it nice and rounded. Just roll it this way a little bit. Now when you're doing them, you can do them all slightly different sizes. Some taller, some rounder and fatter. So I think we'll keep this one about that. Now I'm going to make this one sitting down just to make it a little bit easier for us. Now we're going to give him a nice simple smile. I'm going to put it about halfway down his face. I'm just going to use a cocktail stick. So we're just going to imprint. Just going gently, I'm not dragging. You can use a modelling tool if you've got modelling tools, I'll show you. Modelling tool like this, you would just drag through. And then we're just going to push the end of his smile up a tiny bit using our the end of our paintbrush. So next we're going to dye some blue for his outfit. So I'm taking some blue modelling paste now that I've just dyed. And we're going to roll it out nice and thin for our minion's outfit. Now, I've ended up leaving mine a couple of hours, so he has started going quite hard. Um, it's not intentional that I've left him for that long. I just ended up getting on with other bits and pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on in one piece and cut round. You can, if you want, cut a, a strip that's going to go all the way round. So whichever way you find it easier. So I'm just putting a bit of water on the bottom and just a small amount going all the way around him. On that bottom little bit. Okay, I'm just going to place that over him, pushing it down, trying not to get any creases in that bit that's got the water on. If you do get any creases, try and brush them so they come right to the front of him because then we can cover them with the front of his dungarees. Okay, and I'm just going to take the knife now and try and put a line all the way around. And I'm just going to put a seam up either side. You can put two if you want. I'm just using this little stitching tool that I've got. I'll put links to where I've got all the tools from in the uh, description. So I'm going to re-roll a bit more now for the other bits. And what I'm going to do is we'll start with a straight line and we'll just cut a piece like so. so. It's not an exact shape at the moment. You want to work out how wide you want it to come here. So I think I'm going to bring it about here and here. And I'm just going to cut part way down to start with. And I think next time I start doing some DIY, so I do apologise, you might be able to hear that in the background. We're going to bring the sides round curved a little bit. And then cut down like so. I'm going to place that on there, so I'll cut it about here. And I'm going to put some lines going up the centre. And again, I'll put stitching details around the edge. And I am sorry for the noise. I'm sat right next to my window at the back of my house, which joins right onto next doors, so when they're out in the garden you can hear them. So we're just going to attach this now with a little bit of water. I'm going to 
put that just under his face or under his smile and push this on like so. I'm going to use the bottom end of my modelling tool to just put in some little lines so it looks like he's got creases in his outfit like so. And then we're going to run a little stitching line across the top all the way around. And then we're going to cut some little straps now for his dungarees. So I'll just use the stuff I've already got rolled out. As long as it's not dried out too much. If it started drying out too much, just add a bit of Trex and rework it. Just make sure I've got a nice straight end. And I'm going to put a little bit of water along there like so. I'm going to start by sticking it in the corner. And we're going to bring it round and to the back where you're just going to pull that off like so. Now if you've got enough space you can add stitching. If it's a little bit small don't worry you don't have to necessarily add it on there. So we'll do the same for the other side. And with some of the stuff we've still got rolled out we need to cut in a little pocket. So I'll just cut a square and then just gently cut off the bottom two corners. I'll just cut a tiny bit off, I should say. Just round it off a little bit with your fingers. And we're going to stick that on there. Now, I haven't added too much detail, so I haven't put the little G on the pocket. I've just left that as it is, but you can add that if you want. crease lines on there as well. Oh, going upside down. So we can work on his eye now. I'll just stand him up a minute. So I've just got some white modelling paste now that we're going to roll out. And what I'm going to do is just cut a little circle from that for his eye. I'm just going to do this as well with a single eye. Now my cutter might be a little bit small but the next size up was too big. So if you want it a little bit bigger just gently squeeze to make that eye just a little bit bigger. Then you can add that on with a little bit of water. Or you can use edible glue. So we've stuck, stuck that down now. And we're gonna add the center of his eye. So I've just got a tiny bit of pale brown. I'm gonna roll this out nice and thin. got just a small plunger cutter that we're going to use for a small circle now. I'm just going to put the water on it while it's in there and then work out whereabouts you want it to go and then push the dot into place like so. And we're going to want a small round black dot for the middle. I'm just going to push that in there. And I'm just going to add a little bit more depth to his eye now. So just taking a small brush, we're just going to make sure there's no extra water dripping off the edge of it. We're just going to paint around that very edge with a little line. You can buy double pens as well if you find them easier. So we'll start with a single line. I'm going to rinse some of the paint off and then I'm just going to drag that in all the way around the edge like so and then we can give him a tiny white dot in his eye as well just a small white white circle just to put in his eye like so so we're going to take some black now for the band that attaches his little goggle thing on we're just going to roll this out so it's long enough to go all the way around his head and we're just going to cut a thin strip you can use a pizza cutter if you want which might actually be a little bit easier as mine's moving around all over the place and I'm going to put some water around his head from his eye all the way around to the other side and then that's where we're going to stick the black strip and we're 
just trim it off there. Now it does have a slight indentation around the middle of it so if you want more detail you can just add a little line going through the centre. You don't have to add this bit if you prefer not to. So taking some grey we're going to roll out a piece for around his eye. Now I'm not going to roll it really thin I want a little bit of thickness to it. We're going to cut up probably about this deep. Now just check how thick the white bit is on your eye because it wants to be thicker than the eye. Try and get it the same if you can. If you just put it in a circle you'll be able to see if it's the same height at this end or not. So what I'm going to do now is just trim a bit here and I'm going to place it around the eye and move that over so you can see. And I want to mark on where it comes to, so I think about here. And we're going to trim there. What we're going to do now is put a little bit of water on the bottom of this piece. And then just a tiny bit on the bottom of the side. And also at the end where it's going to join with the other piece. And we're going to bring this round now it together. Try and squeeze it tight so that it goes close to his eye all the way around. So now I'm going to add some little bits at the side. Which I only want to be small so it's probably going to be a bit big. So we'll make a second piece the same and we're going to stick these either side where the black bit goes. And we're just going to put a slight indentation down the middle. Now if you want to add tiny little dots all the way around you can do. If you prefer it without don't worry. Because they will have to be really small. Stick them on with a tiny bit of water. Just try and evenly space them if you can. So now we need some arms and legs. So we're going to need a little bit of blue now for his legs. Not a huge amount. I'm just going to roll it so it's a little bit slimmer at either end. And then cut in the middle to give us our legs. So I'm just going to squash these down a little bit because they might be a little bit long. And they're going to sit at the front of him. So I don't know how well you can see it from above, but they will sit just here. So I'm going to add some water to the thicker bits of each leg. And I'm just going to push these onto the front. And now we're going to need some black for his feet. And what I'm going to do is I've rolled it into a bit of an oval shape. I'm just going to cut that in half like that, which is going to give us our two feet. So just round off those corners. You can try and get it a little bit thinner at one end if you want than at the other. So that they look a little bit more boot shaped. And we're just going to put a little line across like that for his heel. Same on the other one. And then stick in the water on the tops of the shoes. We're just going to push those onto these legs. Like so. So we're going back to our yellow for our arms. And I'm just going to roll a nice long thin piece. I'm only going to use part of it, so I don't need to worry too much about that far end. And just have a look then at what length you want them. So I'm going to cut mine, I think, to about here. So I'll make the other one then to match. So I'm going to put one on here. So the rounded bit goes to the top of his body. 
and we'll keep this bit like that. So it just about touches to the tabletop. This one I think we might bend into a position, so I'm going to put water on it and then just bend it a little bit. Again, starting up near his shoulder and bringing it round there. Oh, and his other arm's dropped off. Back to our black. Just started to dry up a little bit, so I'll just give it a bit more of a knead. So I'm going to start with a circle. Put two little lines in it. Like so. And then we're just going to round off the edges. And we'll separate one. I'll open one out a little bit more than the other one. And we're going to stick that now onto it. So we'll put that one at the end of his arm. And then what we'll do is just roll a little band that will go around the edge of his arm to neaten him off. So we'll just add a little bit of water on there. And then we're just going to put that around there like so, just to neaten that edge bit. And we're going to just add one to his arm as well, to his other arm. Now we just need some bits of hair. I'm just going to roll lots of tiny pieces like this, keeping them quite chunky at the bottom so that I can stick them on like so. And we're just going to add lots of these around until you're happy. So there he is finished um, and I'm going to put him with the groove that I've made. So if you want to have a look at my groove video, there'll be a link at the end of this one. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.